Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager. And today what we're going to do is talk about how to enroll your Macs into your Profile Manager service. Now one of the benefits of using Profile Manager is that you are able to push different configurations to your various devices. Uh, you can do it at a device level or at a user level. And in order to do that, you need to have your devices enrolled in the uh, Profile Manager system so that you're able to then kind of control those devices and do some of the settings profiles and, and those kinds of things that we can do uh, and that I'm going to show you uh, in a future screencast how to use. So what I thought I'd do today again is I'd show you how to enroll those devices. Now one of the things that you can do, as you can see right here, it says profiles are available to all users to download and be enrolled at the user portal right here. And if you were to click that link, it would take you into the user portal. Now because we are actually looking at setting this up on a different Mac, uh, not on my server itself, uh, I'm going to show you how this works with a screen share. So let me just pull up a, a screen share here of one of my remote computers. Let me just move that up. Now here we are on my remote computer. Now in order for you to access the portal, uh, your users need to go on their machines to uh, your server's name with the backslash my devices. All right, so that's what you want to put in there as the, uh, the actual name that they're going to use to get access. So when we do that, we go ahead and hit, uh, let's hit this here, I'm going to hit enter. And what it's going to do is take us to the actual uh, profile manager device panel. And this is where we'll be able to download the various configurations. And so it's going to ask us to log in here. So I'm just going to put in my info there, say log in. And it's going to take me into the uh, portal here. And it could take a few minutes. Okay, so here we go. And uh, so it's asking if I want to enroll this particular Mac in the Profile Manager service. Now the temptation is to go ahead and hit this button right away, uh, but that's going to cause you some issues because your uh, computer doesn't know whether or not to trust your server. So what we need to do first is go to this Profiles area here, and what you want to do is download the Trust Profile first, because this actual Trust Profile is what tells your computer, hey, it's okay to trust this server, so anything the server sends to you, uh, I want you to trust, and, uh, and it's okay to, to use those settings. Uh, you'll notice here I've got the settings for everyone that's here. And you know, if I just show contents for a minute, you can see that the settings for everyone will configure context, calendar, messages, VPN, and then some basic identification stuff from the server itself. And so that's what's contained in that uh, particular profile right there. And if you have been following along on my screencast, you know that we have worked through each of these services and made them available. And that's why they're actually showing up in the settings for everyone uh, profile. Again, you don't want to install this one until we've gone through this process of the trust profile and actually enrolling the device. In fact, if I just hit the show contents of the trust profile, you'll notice it's just a certificate that gets added to my machine. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install this, and it's going to take us through this process. So we're going to download and install the profile. You can see the profile has been downloaded. And so uh, once it's actually in our downloads there, we can come up here, and there's the trust profile. So if we just double uh, click on that, what it's going to do is open system preferences for us here. And it might take a minute to do that. And here it comes up. It says, hey, you want to install this trust profile because it's going to install two certificates. Uh, if we wanted to actually show the profile, we could do that. If I just said show profile, it gives me more information about this code signing certificate. It talks about my open directory, uh, some of the other details of what's going to be sort of installed on there. And, and basically, it's telling me that it's going to um, give my computer access to my open directory. It's actually going to install it as a device in open directory. And so we're going to go ahead then and install this profile. And it's going to ask for authentication. And once you put in your credentials there, you say OK. And you can see now it's going through the install process. And it could take a little, a few minutes to load everything in. And so we're going to let it do its thing. And once it's installed, we should see it uh, actually on our screen there. And there we go. So you see the trust profile has been installed now. Uh, I've got these uh, certificates installed, these root certificates. Again, it says verified because it knows it's from my server, so we're good to go on that part. So now let me just come back in here for a minute. Now that we've got that installed, now we can come over to our devices here. And now that we've got it installed, we want to go ahead and uh, actually enroll this particular Mac into my Profile Manager service. So you can see here it's going through the process of loading you know, the information that I need. And again, it's pulling it from your server, so depending on what you've got going on in the back end of your server, 
in terms of internet traffic, it might take a little while. There we go, it's downloaded that certificate. So again, we come up here and just click on this MDM certificate profile. I'm going to double click on that. Again, it's going to take me into uh, System Preferences. It asks if I want to install the remote management. Again, if I want to show the profile, I can get more uh, detail on what I'm installing. I'm installing the, an enrollment request, mobile device management, and a couple of certificates to make that happen. Uh, again, here's the mobile uh, device management, which again allows for uh, the erasing of uh, your settings and those sorts of things. So uh, it's just warning you about that. And I'm going to continue because I want that installed. Again, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm going to install it. And so now it's going to install the certificates to enroll my Mac into my open directory and allow it to be managed remotely. So again, take a few minutes to install the certificates. Once it's done, now it's showing up, and now all of these different certificates are enrolled. I've got a certificate for open directory. I've got an enrollment request. I've got mobile device management. And then I've got my other certificate for open directory. So all of those certificates now uh, have enrolled my Mac. And so now my Mac is actually a part now of my open directory. In fact, if I just come back here, uh, you'll notice that now it has identified my Mac. It knows that it's a MacBook Pro, uh, so the icon has changed. You notice now the serial number is showing so that I can always look up my serial number through this portal. And I can actually lock or wipe my device uh, right from this screen. It would ask me to authenticate and log in, but I've got the ability to do that. I can also remove uh, this Mac from my uh, open directory just by saying remove right here and it'll take it out. So that does give me the option to do that. Now once you've done that, then you could come back to the profiles if you wanted to and you could install this settings for everyone. Now I'm going to leave that alone for right now because uh, I want to show you how that works uh, later. Um, but, uh, but that's how you would do that. You would just come in here and then install it and then it would walk through actually adding the calendar, adding the contacts, adding VPN, adding all those profiles to your device. Uh, without you having to do anything. And so you know in past screencasts I showed you how to do it manually uh, to enroll all of those things. Now you can just do the install and make that happen. But since I've already got those set up, uh, I really don't need to show you how to do that. You could just click that and make that work. So that uh, kind of shows you how to enroll your Mac in your open directory. And like I said, once your uh, Mac is there, then it allows us to control it through Profile Manager. And I'm going to show you how that works in a future screencast. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.